grocery haul. Yes, a grocery haul. So I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly because I don't want any of my stuff to spoil. We just got home right from the grocery store. We did go to the farmer's market where we get a majority of our produce from. And then of course we went to Walmart and got the rest of our regular groceries. All right, you guys, so we're just gonna jump right into this haul. So starting out, of course, we got us some buttermilk biscuits. These are the ones, you know, of course, from Pillsbury. And then we also got some of their cinnamon rolls. I love these cinnamon rolls, you guys. They're perfect for when you have like a sweet tooth or whatnot. But these are like one of those things that are just like a guilty pleasure. So that's why we picked these up and I love them. Okay. Next are these flip cups. These are the Chobani flip cups and I love these. These are the cinnamon, um, the cinnamon bun. Oh my gosh. These are the cinnamon bun fun ones. So I love these from again from these Chobani. And this is Greek yogurt you guys. And I don't eat a lot of yogurt and I really try not to do a lot of dairy including cheese because it causes my face to break out really really badly. And not even really badly but it does cause me to have acne breakouts. And when I do they're usually my cystic acne breakouts which form underneath the skin. And those are a lot more painful and take a lot more time to clear up. So these again are like a guilty pleasure even though I love yogurt and these don't mess with my stomach um compared to the regular and soy yogurt but um yeah as far as like my skin goes i do not get these all the time but i love these and again these are the chobani flip cinnamon bun fun flip cups and they're so good you guys all right next are these little um i guess these are um adult lunchables is babe column and but they're really really good because um she picked these up one weekend when we were going to the beach and these are the natural these are the oscar meyer natural slow roasted turkey breast white cheddar cheese whole wheat crackers and then this one is the one with the turkey breast honey smoked turkey breast with asiago cheese so we got these two and these are like a dollar fifty a piece i think or 250 a piece i'm not sure but um these are pretty good i love the crackers actually they're like little trisket crackers and yeah like they're awesome like they're really really good so um babe picked these up for her um for like a snack or whatnot so of course we picked up some shredded cheese and if you guys are wondering about the lighting yes i'm in my kitchen i'm using some natural light and then just a the regular light so bear with me you guys and um this is the craft natural cheese finely shredded triple cheddar we like to use these for like more like making grits or um like tacos because we don't use a lot of cheese in a lot of our dishes anyways so um yeah but we do like craft cheese um especially velveeta cheese i'm a bougie bitch i like velveeta cheese but i like craft too but um yeah but this is really good i like this one because against the triple cheese so it comes with the vermont white cheddar sharp cheddar and mild cheddar cheeses so we picked one of these up and of course we got some eggs and these are the Eggland's Best Organic um, Cage Free Eggs. These are the large brown eggs. Now I haven't tried the Eggland Best Eggs in the actual shell. I've tried the ones in like the container for like their egg whites. But um, yeah, the girl dropped her eggs and the customer behind us was nice enough to send her son back to get us some more eggs. So he got these and I ain't complaining. <laughs> so yeah, so um, it says save over six thousand coupons inside so we we'll have to check that out but these are the eggs that we picked up for this week babe's gonna be making some quiche so i can't wait she's gonna make like the little mini quiche ones so that way i can enjoy them too all right you guys so i'm gonna keep it rolling so the next thing is milk and of course i got my silk almond milk in the vanilla flavor y'all know i love silk milk this is like one of my favorites and then babe picked up a um fair life 2% reduced ultra filtered milk. Now this is actually pretty good and I do drink this periodically. My mom likes this. Um, I put my mom's business out there but she's lactose intolerant and my dad is too so naturally I have it as well. And this um, milk in particular is pretty pretty good. Um, she raved about it so and so Alexa started drinking it probably like a couple months ago and she's been hooked on it. But y'all know I ride with the almond milk, cashew milk silk milk i love it so yeah so this is the milk that we picked up for this week and then of course we got some minute made juices we always pick us up some minute made juice so this week we picked up the fruit punch minute made juice we also got a mango punch one and i have been on a mango kick like i've been literally eating mangoes every single day so i'm so happy that we got this drink because i can't wait to try it out and then of course we get um the tropical punch 
um this is like one of my favorite ones and the berry punch that they have those two are like particularly my favorite but i have not tried out this mango punch one so i'm going to try that one out tonight all right y'all so drop that down a little bit okay so let's continue on with the rest of our haul so of course i did pick me up some avocados y'all know avocados are life like what would this haul be if I did not pick me up some avocados? So I picked up two of them. If you guys watched my recent Queen's Veggie Garden update, you guys know that one of my avocado seeds finally has a root. So yes, we're gonna have an avocado plant in the next couple years, you guys. So I'm mad excited about that. So yes, I love avocados and that's why I decided I need to go ahead and just make my own avocado tree, okay? <laughs> and then of course, talking about mangoes i picked up six of these um they were only 68 cents a piece at walmart and these are the yeah tommy mangoes these tommy mangoes i have fallen in love with them um I, to me honestly i thought mangoes were all the same and so i actually started paying attention to the actual you know skew bar on here and yeah so they're called tommy mangoes and they are so good so 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 freaking good they're super duper sweet and they get super duper large and um, with these people will mistake them in thinking that they have to be super duper soft in order to eat them no you do not like if they're large and have a nice like plumpness to them and they start turning color um yeah they're ready to eat and usually if you can smell the sweetness of a mango they're definitely ready to eat so these are three of them and then the other three of course naturally back here so yeah y'all i'm set for the week with mangoes i got six of them Okay, so next, of course, we picked up some more seasons because y'all naturally can't cook if you don't have any seasons. So we picked up some parsley. We got some onion powder. We also got some Italian seasonings. And I literally probably use all of these seasonings in just about the majority of my dishes. Um, oregano leaves as well. And then we also picked up some more garlic powder. Oh, baby, we forgot the minced garlic. Damn, we sure do forgot the minced garlic. That's okay. Um, and then we picked up some black pepper because we definitely use a lot of pepper. I know I use a lot of pepper. I don't know, play by my pepper, okay? And then we picked up some more table salt. Of course, we use a lot of pink salt, but periodically we use table salt as well in our cooking. So we needed some more of this. And then we picked up um, this whole wheat high fiber spaghetti. This is the um, wheat pasta. I love this brand in particular from Walmart. It is so freaking good. Um, you don't necessarily have to use the whole packaging, especially if it's just two of you. Um, it's just me and babe, and every time we make one pack, it's too much of it. So yeah, just be mindful of that. And this one contains 56 grams of whole grain per serving. So I just like this one. And I really do like the wheat pasta versus just a regular um starchy you know pasta because the wheat to me holds me a lot longer, meaning that I won't have to eat a whole lot of the pasta in order to make sure that I'm actually full. Um, also too, we picked up this bag of kale. And every time we go to Walmart, y'all to get kale, the bag of kale, it's always one bag left for whatever freaking reason. Like it literally is always one bag and it's like sitting there like, I've been waiting on y'all. So we picked this one up. Um, this is from Nature's Greens and it's a healthy and simple farm fresh food kale greens a bold and bittersweet flavor and i like this brand this is the one that we use specifically especially when we're using bad kale um if we're not using this one then we just pick typically pick it up fresh from either walmart or from our local um produce market as well all right you guys so let's finish this haul up so got some sweet potatoes here i got three sweet potatoes for the week i like to use sweet potatoes for like sweet potato um mash hash uh, especially with some kale super duper good for in the morning times i'll put like some like super duper um, spicy sriracha on there pepper pink salt whatever and yeah so you can use this for dinner lunch or breakfast um but i have come to really fall in love with sweet potatoes for the breakfast time next we got some bananas yes y'all these are right on time because you guys can see that they're ripe so yes they're gonna get eaten up for the rest of the week and on the weekend next we got some blueberries because um if you guys are wondering a lot of the foods that i've chosen to eat these next few days are going to like really help like my chakra and keeping them balanced and just also too just keeping my body just balanced overall so that's another reason why i picked up blueberries because y'all know i used to eat blueberries a lot and then for whatever reason i stopped eating them so i'm trying to get back into actually incorporating more berries 
fresh berries into my actual diet. So yeah, I'm happy. Can't wait to eat these because these are gonna be so freaking good. And then of course I got some bell peppers. Now y'all are like, girl, why you got two packages of bell peppers? Well, one because they're $1.50. Like, yeah, you can't beat that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them down tonight and freeze them so they don't go bad. And it's better because typically at our produce market, the green ones are always on sale too for a dollar. And then the red and the yellow and the orange ones, of course, naturally cost like a dollar something a piece. So yeah, I saw these today and I figured why not? So we pretty much got seven bell peppers for $3. Can't beat that. Okay, so next we got some spinach. Now they usually, um, and they typically always do carry the spinach in store. Uh-oh. Oh, it's a small one. Carry them in store in the bags for like two ninety nine a bag, but they had these in the store um by the bunch by the bundle or whatever for a dollar seventy nine. So I was like, uh, yes, we'll take the bundle for a dollar seventy nine. So yeah, spinach looks really really good. Um, I like to use these in like pasta dishes or um simply just to like for um incorporating like some more greens to a veggie bowl so if y'all are like thinking about greens that are um, easy to like saute and add to any dish spinach and kale is definitely one of those greens to add okay next is we have some onions here and of course they were a dollar fifty as well so it's what five of them in here for a dollar fifty and then we got some purple onions as well for um a dollar fifty so what i'm gonna do is some of these i am gonna cut up and then so that way i can put it into the freezer so that way again they won't go bad so i'm not gonna chop all of these down tonight just probably a majority of them and then i can toss them in the freezer bag put them in the freezer and then take them out when i'm ready to use them for future meals Next, we got some um, cherry tomatoes, and these are, how many pounds are these, babe? About two pounds or so? Yes, yeah, about two pounds or so of these in here. So, um, we paid about, um, I think we paid like close to like four dollars for two pounds, but I'll show you guys what they look like, because these are so freaking delicious. We like to just throw these in like our spaghetti. Oh, no, uh-uh. <laughs> He ain't going to waste. He'll get clean. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, but we like to throw these in, like, our dishes, our spaghetti dishes, salads, pasta dishes, like, pretty much any kind of dish. These are even good for, like, sauteing down. Um, I honestly haven't tried to roast tomatoes yet, and I want to roast tomatoes so that way I can actually make my own spaghetti sauce. So, when I decide to do that, you guys, I'll actually come to you guys with the actual video with all that. But, yeah, so these are cherry tomatoes, and I can't wait to eat some of these. It was so good. All right, next we have some squash here. Um, y'all love me some squash. Can't get enough of squash. Um, Bae says my aunt makes the best squash that there is out there. I have to agree with her because auntie made some banging squash, okay? And um, yeah, my mom does too. Actually, all her sisters do. They all can cook. And um, yeah, so pick up some squash because I love me some squash, y'all. And then tonight we're making some um buffalo cauliflower. Burgers? Is that what's called, babe? Oh, well, we're doing buffalo cauliflower tonight, so we picked up a head of cauliflower. This is only two ninety nine, and then I picked up some more ginger root. Um, and then we also, and the reason why I picked up ginger is because I wanted to um, start. Um, incorporating more of fresh ginger into my tea. I noticed on my last menstrual cycle, um, the tea that I have that contains a high amount of ginger in it actually stopped my period. Like it actually knocked it off on day three. So I was happy about that. So I'm going to start incorporating more ginger, um, especially into my daily diet. And um, Babe made a suggestion about making um, ginger beetroot, uh, making ginger beet juice. I'm sorry, and so we did pick up some beets because y'all know that um, I used to juice a lot and I still have my juicer and my smoothie um, blender. So yeah, so we picked up some beets, you guys. Picked up about four, six of these, I believe. So we're going to start making ginger beet juices in the morning time. <laughs> Almost like a shot. <laughs> and then next two, we also picked up some purple potatoes. They're probably not coming up purple on camera. They probably look brown, but these are purple potatoes. Um, and I wanted to pick up more of these because they're so high in protein and they're really, really good for you. And plus, this is a good way to add variety into your diet, you know, because typically you'll eat the normal potatoes, but sometimes I, like, I want to change it up. And so um, purple potatoes are a good way to do that. 
And then lastly, of the fresh produce. Yeah, of the fresh produce. This are a pint of strawberries. So they're just inside this bag so that they won't fall out everywhere. Um, you know, naturally rolling around and about in the car. So, here are our strawberries. Fresh Florida strawberries. Yeah, if y'all didn't know, Florida, yeah, we grow our own strawberries too, not just oranges. Yeah, and they smell, y'all, they smell so freaking good. Like, mm, I cannot wait to, like, forget it. Like, hmm, they good. Mm, really good. <laughs> Have a bite. All right, so last but not least, this is what I have left um, for my haul for today. Oh, y'all almost forgot. That's not all. We picked up two cantaloupes. So yeah, the other one's down the floor. And yeah, so we picked up two cantaloupes. I almost forgot. Like, yes, y'all, cantaloupe. Okay, so I picked up some organic coconut oil. Um, and this is the version on refined one. And this is from Carrington Farms. I've never used this brand before. I usually use the coconut oil that's in a glass jar, but I wanted the unrefined one. And plus, so I want to use this not just for cooking, but I also want to use it for other purposes as well. So, um, yeah, so happy I picked this up and I can't wait to try this out. This is USDA organic certified. Next, of course, I picked up my favorite Bernard's Pure Natural Acadiana Honey. They're based out of Louisiana. So good, you guys. And then we picked up some extra virgin olive oil. Y'all know I always cook with extra virgin olive oil. And then we picked up this Vermont Village Sipping Vinegar Raw and Organic Apple Cider Vinegar with the Mother, which is the actual, you know, like, um, the Mother, which is actually like in the ACV. Even when you go to even drink kombucha, usually you'll find mother in there as well. Um, and then um, it contains blueberries and honey. So I haven't tried this before from this particular brand. I have tried the ACV ready to drink drinks. And then um, I've also had kombucha a few times as well. And I love that. So me and Bae just picked one of these up so we can try it out. Of course, I picked up some more of my Yogi Detox tea because, um, yeah... Why would I not pick this up? Yeah, so this is actually $3.98 in Walmart. And y'all, I just love this freaking tea. So if you haven't watched my um, most current favorites, this was actually featured in that video and along with some other um, products as well. And then we picked up this Oregon Chai Chai Tea Latte Vanilla Flavor. Y'all seen me feature this here before on my channel. Um, Bae picked this up because she's falling in love with it. And it's actually pretty good. Um, if you're not a coffee drinker, I would definitely recommend you trying this out. Because it does remind me of like a cafe tea latte. It really, really is good. And then last but not least, we got some pickles. Because y'all, we love pickles. So these are the Culture Deal um, Deli Style Spears from the brand Clausen. And these are just so freaking freaking good and uh, y'all they have the best crunch ever for pickles like the best the freaking best okay y'all almost forgot the um, canned goods so i did pick up two cans of these um chickpeas garbanzo beans yes um i don't you get them by the bag because yeah i'm lazy i don't think i really want to be bothered with cooking them myself so yeah i will pick these up in the cans and i really do like this brand in particular and then I also picked up two cans of whole kernel corn for like when I want to do like text mix bowls or something like that. Or if I just want to add a different vegetable in there, I can just pop this in the, um, rinse these off, pop this in, put this in a pot and then let it heat up and then I can doctor it up with some flavoring and stuff like that. And then I picked up a can of Hunt's um, pasta sauce. This is literally only the pasta sauce that I use. And then we also picked up their diced roasted garlic tomatoes and their diced basil garlic and oregano tomatoes these are so freaking good if you have not picked these up and tried them out you're sleeping on this because these really do amp up like your food especially the um vegetarian dishes as well these really do give it like that va va voom flavor and then lastly i picked up my ride or die maranatha almond butter y'all know i have just fallen in love with this stuff this is like one of those things i will splurge on it's just like a treat to myself, and I really do love it. It's really, really is filling. It's really, really good for just like a snack when you just want something sweet. Take your spoon, scoop some out, eat it, and you're good to go. Or you can put it on like a rice cake or a cracker or a banana, an apple, strawberry, oatmeal, smoothie. Like, 
I love this almond butter. Like, this literally is my favorite one. Now I'm realizing that... <coughs> Now I'm realizing that I picked up in the crunchy one, but that's okay because I still use it in my smoothies even when they're crunchy. It's so good. That's just how much I love it. All right, queen. So this is it for my pescatarian haul for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because you, you guys really did enjoy the last two pescatarian hauls that I have brought to you guys. I'm still primarily practicing the pescatarian lifestyle but you guys know wholeheartedly i really want to um get away from eating any form of like meat um that's still a journey in itself but each day take it as it comes and yeah you guys so i hope you enjoyed today's haul definitely make sure to check the description box down below for my um previous two hauls that i've shared here on my channel just so you guys can get an idea of pretty much what i do eat um not daily but pretty much periodically throughout the week because i do like to change it up in a two depending on again what it is that we have going on in our own lives okay so make sure that you are subscribed down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up and turn on your notifications so you can be team notification gang y'all so you can be notified when i upload new content here on my youtube channel all right so thanks so much for hanging out with me today queens i'll see you guys in my next upload bye you guys